This is a certified hood classic. All right, fam, we here and we don't give a damn, boy. Yeah, man, look, bro, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, bro. I'm... <laughs> I really, I just want to do a big shout out to y'all, bro. I just want to do a big shout out to y'all, man, because y'all are really helping me, bro, every single day, bro. I, was, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Your boy been going through a little, a little something, a little something, something. It's from a good place, bro. Tell, I'm, trust me, this is from a good place. If y'all got goals and you working on something in life, bro, go hard for it, bro. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody derail you. Stay focused, bro. Life, this life, bro, is like a video game, bro. Keep on leveling up, my boys. Level up every single day, bro, even if you do one. 1% better every single day. That's going to be 100% after 100 days, nigga. Keep on grinding, bro. Without further ado, let's get into some South Park, my boys. Our next guest is a little girl who was born without a midsection. Please welcome Domla Jones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Baby Pac-Man looking ass bitch. What the fuck? A gumball bitch, a, a, a cute gumball, a, a, a cute, a, a pretty jawbreaker. Hey, I said it. You're a very brave little girl, and I'm very Look at her proud climb. of you. Thank you. Can you tell the audience how miserable your life is? Uh, yes, it is. This is terrible, dude. Mori Povich parades these poor people around on a show like Carnival Freaks, and then gives them prizes at the end as if to justify it. What a dick. Do you or someone you know have a disfigurement or disability that we can exploit on the Mari Povich show? Exploit? He just straight up said, fuck it. We're going to exploit you. I mean, but that's really what it is, bro. We know who, who this based off of. Maury ass and if shit. If so, call 155 Hey Maury. Dude, what what is, uh, hey Maury. can get on the Mari Povich show so we can get a prize. Cool. Oh, yes. Well, that's yes. awesome. Hello, is this Mari Povich? Uh <gasps> oh, this is the episode where Butters and the balls on his chin. Well, who the hell are you? Oh, man. Uh well, I'm calling about your ad for freaks. Right, I mean people with disabilities. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend, he has a deformity. I think it'd be perfect for your show. Great. His condition? Uh, he has a condition called chin ballolitis. Uh, his balls actually hang from his chin. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why you laughing, nigga. That's you. That's gonna be you. Yes. Yes, of course. He's very upset about it. Yes, he cries all the time. Miserable, uh-huh. You what? Really? What? Dude, they say they'll fly him out day after tomorrow. Awesome. Cool. Uh, yes, I'm sure I can convince him to come on the show. There will, of course, be a prize involved. A prize involved. I'll call you back in an hour. <laughs> no, thank you. Yes. This is going to be so funny. Uh, it sure is. But how are we going to get the balls put on Butter's chin? Yeah. How are we going to... Wait. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, yep. That's me. I'm Butter's. Me. I oh, know, bitch. Butters, <laughs> who do you think we were talking about? <laughs> but fellas, if I go on Mario Pavish with my, my balls on my chin, my parents are going to be really mad. Just tell your parents we're going on a camping trip with my parents. They'll never know. I'm sorry, but the answer is uh-uh. Uh-uh. Right. Uh-uh. Kenny would have done it. Ah, see, they be getting them with that. You cannot let people peer pressure you into nothing, bro. Butters, Butters used to do this real bad. He used to have this real bad. So, I told you guys before, I'm not Kenny. We know. Exactly. Believe me, we know. We're reminded every day that you're not Kenny because Kenny was cool. Yeah, God, I wish Kenny wow. was still alive. He'd put balls on his chin. Yeah, such well, an awesome friend. he ain't. Well, come on, guys. If Butters won't even put his balls on his chin for us, I guess we know where we stand. Yeah. Aw, oh, gee whiz. You, you promise my mom and dad won't find out? That's your flight, Butters. Okay, here's your oh, ticket. God. We're gonna have a car waiting for you at the gate in New York. Oh, my God. Wait, you guys aren't coming with me? Hell no, dude. Then we couldn't watch you on TV. Hold on a minute, guys. I've changed my mind. I don't want to go. God, isn't Butters awesome for doing this, you guys? Yeah, he sure is. Manipulator. To bring us back a prize. What a great friend. And Kyle ain't shit. He was just talking about people exploiting. That's why I said Kyle not shit either, bro. Kyle and Stan, they're just as bad as Cartman. They are, bro. Cartman might be a little, he might be able to finesse it just a little bit better. But they, they just as bad as him. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, though, bro. Come on now. They just as bad. Butters, butters. All right, then. See you guys tomorrow. Hmm. Boy with balls on his chin. Haven't seen you around. How long you been on the circuit? What circuit? The talk show circuit. Don't tell us this is your first one. Well, yeah. You've all done it more than once. Oprah two times, Jenny Jones once, <laughs> Sally Jesse five times. Ugh. You've only done Jenny once. Oh, I hate doing the Jenny Jones show. They don't even have their own hair people. 
I'm doing Jenny tomorrow. Yeah, you picked a good show to do first, kid, <laughs> but you need to learn the ropes. There are a lot of people like you all over the country, and we all do talk shows for a living. We all know each other. We all kind of stick together to make sure our industry is protected. Yeah, like when someone lies about being a freak. Uh-oh. They do, huh? Look at that little girl. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they'll make up a fake condition to go on these shows and then take our money away. We don't take kindly to that. Oh, well, I can God. certainly see why. It's okay. Folks don't do it anymore. Not after they saw what we did to Lobster Boy. Oh, God. Lobster Boy? Yeah, Lobster Boy used to make appearances on all the talk shows. He was one of the most- They must have boiled his ass. <laughs> they must have buttered and boiled his ass. popular disfigured people on TV. But then one day we all found out that Lobster Boy wasn't a real freak at all. He was uh -oh. just an actual lobster. Lying sack of crap. Oh so you know God. what we did to him? What? One night all us freaks got together and we <laughs> boiled him alive. Oh, God. <laughs> Our next- Hey, but by the way, doing that to lobsters is fucked up, bro. I, I know, I know, I know. Everybody gonna be like, "Wizzy, you stop being such a bitch. You being such a." I know, but just bull, just throwing and throwing a motherfucker in some boiling hot water. Just go ahead and crack the damn thing. Take it out as his misery, bro. Let it fucking boil, bro. Just, just you know what I'm saying. It's just so inhumane. Yeah, suffers from a rare birth You're gonna eat him anyway. Like, don't let him suffer. And scrotum to grow from his chin. Testicles and scrotum. <laughs> Please welcome eight and a half year old Napoleon Bonaparte from South Park, Colorado. Hmm. Napoleon Thanks Bonaparte. Thanks so much for coming on our show. Oh, uh, that's okay, I, I suppose. So, is hmm. it tough being different? Uh, yeah. And do all the kids at school make fun of you? Well, they sure do. <laughs> They always say to me, Butters, you're not Kenny. But I never said I was Kenny. They say Kenny would do this and Kenny he would do that. Up. I'm losing him. I'm tired of it. You hear me, fellas? Kenny's dead and you just have to deal with that. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, do the kids at school make fun of you because of your condition? What condition? You're fucked up, Butters. You're fucking you up. You have balls that hang off your chin. I do? Oh, oh I, I mean, yeah, I do. Uh... Yeah, the kids at school make fun of me for that. Christmas. <laughs> oh, what God. names do they call you at school? Uh, well, um, I guess they call me a Turnball Boy and a Ball Chin Boy. When I was, when I'm walking, they'll say, "Hey, that goes Chin Balls." <laughs> <laughs> and do they call you Freak and, and Weirdo? Well, yeah, I suppose. And do they? Why is he all up in his face? Do they call you Freak and Weirdo? Huh? Yeah. What else do they do? They take it to the bathroom and they get all naked. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, old ass Don't man? Make you and laugh. Do they make you wish you'd never been born? He projected. He projected some of that shit. Wretched Earth. Uh, sure. Well, Napoleon, we have a surprise for you. Wait, here it is, here it is. The present. Because you are such a brave little chin-bald man, gonna we're going to send you directly from this studio to the world's largest putt-putt golf course in the world. Damn. Uh, really? Wow. Did he say the largest putt-putt golf course in the world? Y'all not getting shit. Come on, you're going right now. But that's not fair. That means Butters gets to go and we don't. Yeah. That is fair, nigga. Y'all <laughs> sent him all the way there by himself. He, the least, the, the, for y'all enjoyment. Let's not leave that out. Y'all enjoyment. The least he could do is get a reward for yeah, it, bro. Yeah, he thought of the whole thing. Uh, once again, Butters is trying to screw us over. That asshole. Hello, is this really? the My Puppet Show? Yes, hello. I'm calling because I saw your television program, and I also have balls hanging from my chin. I'd like to come on and talk about my disorder and perhaps get a free trip to the largest public golf course in the world. I'm sorry, but we're done doing freak shows for now. We're looking for people for a new topic. What's the new topic? Please help my out-of-control child. Oh. Oh, hey, out of shit. Really? Is your mother in tears every day over how disobedient you are? Uh, sure. Does she worry about you doing drugs and having sex at such a young age? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I do crack and potpourri and <laughs> Why well, that's you great. Missing? If you can get your mom to come on with you, we'd love to fly you out. My, my man? <laughs> man? Yes, yeah, sweetie. Oh, God. Could you do me a favor? What's that, my little man? Could you, um... Go on the My Povet show with me and say that I'm out of control and do drugs and have sex so that I can go to the largest putt putt golf course in the world. Hmm. <laughs> but you're not out of control, Muffin. You're my perfect little gumdrop. No, he is not. No, the hell he ain't. I'm just asking you to lie for me. You love me, don't you? Of course I do. Oh, I have such a pretty mother. Such a wonderful oh mother. God. Sweetie, don't. Then it's settled. Oh, I've got such a great mother. Such a beautiful mother. 
Hey, Butters, those other freak people from the show were just over here looking for you. Oh, Jesus, they were? Yeah, they wanted to find you bad. Oh, oh God, what'd you tell them? I told them where to find you. What? Oh, what fuck. Why would you do that? Well, they want to kill me for not being a real freak. Oh, well, it serves you right for screwing us over. What? Oh, uh, hello, folks. What's the problem? <laughs> There you are, boy with balls on his chin. But we've got big news. The union is striking. The union? Uh, that's why you came? We're tired of our crappy prizes. So the union president, man with terrible skin condition, has told us to round everyone up. Uh, I can't... Nigga, you got a terrible skin condition, boy. Strike, fellas. I'm grounded. Grounded for what? For having balls on me. Ha! I mean nothing. I'm not grounded. Good. Then you can march with us. Freaks of the world unite. Ugh. Just We're here talking with moms who think their children are out of control. Now, Vanessa here says that her 13-year-old daughter, Vanity, is already doing drugs and having sex with older men. Oh. Vanessa, what does Vanity say to you when you tell her to do her homework? She says she hates me. She, she calls me retard. That she says my goose is all dried up and nobody wants it. Ugh. Oh. Well, let's serves you right, Vanity. old woman. <laughs> whatever, whatever. You fucking cocksuckers don't know shit. Fuck you. Did she just show her ass over? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Vanity, you are really an out of control team. Yeah. No, you're a bitch. That's what you are. Whatever. Maury, my mom don't know shit. You can ask her. I ask all my homies if they be down with it. You know, it's all good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, cocksuckers! Jeez, that girl's pissed off. Okay, Cartman family, you're on in two minutes. Why can't you just listen to me and love me? Oh. Shut up! Shut the fuck up, you dried up skank! <laughs> Damn! I'm glad you're not like that, Poopsikins. But if I'm not the most out-of-control teen, I might not win the prize. Excuse me, I want to make a quick change. Where's wardrobe? Second door on the right. Oh shit, you already we know. Are strong and diverse. You already know what he finna do, bro. Honey Boo Boo or whatever, Bad Barbie or some group of people. With whatever he's like gonna do. Woman with crab-like body. Incredibly obese black person. No, he's just fat. <laughs> Man with brains outside of head. And okay. Liza Minnelli. Oh wow. I need to go. I can't pick it, guys. You're not gonna pick it. Who's not gonna pick it? Uh oh. Why with balls on chin doesn't want to pick it? It's just my parents are, I can't pick it. Why? You're not a scab, are you? No, uh -oh. I am not a scab. The first group will be led by incredibly obese black man. Excuse me, I'm not incredibly obese black man. I'm incredibly black obese man. Oh, holla. Oh, What's right, the difference? My bad. <laughs> Next mother is Leanne Cartman. Her son is I'm incredibly the black obese man. in the world and says there's nothing his stupid mom can do about it. Oh. Why won't you kids behave? Shut up, Stank! He's not talking to you! Damn! So, Miss Cartman, you can't control your child? Oh, my little poopsikins gets into no-nos once in a while, but he's still my perfect little sumsy kittles. Well, your son made a video backstage. Let's take a look. Mary, I am out of control. Yeah, I use drugs. <laughs> I can do what I want, bitch! Yeah, sex, and I don't use protection. It's my hot body. I'll do what I want. I don't go to school and I kill people. Whatever. I'll do what I want. It's about I go to school and I kill people. I don't go to school and I oh, kill such people. A cutie. Well, let's bring him out. Here's Eric oh, Cartman. God. Whatever. Whatever. Mommy, my mom can't control me. Uh. Act her. Go on, act her. Miss Cartman, what does your son like to do? Ooh, he loves playing with his Clyde Frog and Wellington Bear. Man, huh. we're pretending, remember? Sex and drugs. Oh, I mean sex and drugs. Oh. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Oh, whatever, you ain't tough, ho. I run with gangs. Oh, yeah? I run with 12 gangs, and we only commit hate crimes. Whatever, I'll do what I want. Whatever, you ain't bad, you ain't nothing. Beat our ass! I ditch class and go shoot heroin in the school bathroom. Damn. Well, I, I ran for Look, her mother, her mother is like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, she, she's learning something new about her daughter. She is horrified, bro. Congress and won. Then I had sex with an intern, killed her, and hit her body. Whatever, I'll do what I want. What do we want? Better prizes. When do we want them? Yeah. Sir, I really gotta <laughs> go home. My parents are gonna be sore at me. Napoleon, you need to understand something. 
For a union to work, all members must be prepared to make sacrifices and stick together. But I gotta get back to my family. We're your family too, Napoleon. We're like you. When we look at you, we don't even see the testicles on your chin. We see the testicles in your heart. What do we what? want? Okay, folks, we're gonna have to move along. Why? We're a union and we have a right to pick it. I'm sorry, but the government does not recognize you as a union. You'll have to go. What are you saying? That because of our appearance, our organization is less important? No, no, no. I'm not telling you people that your union doesn't matter. I'm just telling you that you're not really people. Damn. All right, that does it. It's time to bring out the big guns. Prepare the video sabotage. Oh, no, not the video sabotage. We're here talking with moms who think their children are out of control. Whatever. I slaughtered five baby seals with my bare hands. Whatever, I'll do what I want. Now let's meet Jolene. Jolene says that her daughter is also out of control, that she's flirting with older men, and she's only four months old. <laughs> mm -hmm. What? Let's bring her out. Here's Chantal. Oh my God. What the fuck is this? So, Jolene, exactly how is your daughter out of control? You say she flirts with older men? Maury, it's like this. Whenever I have friends over to the house, Chantel will come waltzing in the living room completely naked. Oh. Whatever. I helped in a drive-by shooting. Whatever. Shut I up, digitally bitch. put Jabba the Hutt back into the original Star Wars movie. I'll do what I want. Wow, that... Oh, <laughs> that lady was... She like... <laughs> that is out of control. Why, just last night I had three gentlemen callers over to my house and Chantel took her clothes off right in front of everybody. Three gentlemen oh. callers? You see? There she goes. There she goes. Yeah. Oh, you got them off! Attention, Maury viewers. What the hell is this? A lot of decent, hardworking freaks in America oh, are losing their talk show jobs to freaks of a different nature. Sure, everyone in this great country of ours is a freak. But true, physically deformed freaks must be recognized. For it is these real freaks that make the you all feel head better about nigga, yourselves man. for not being one. So next time you're watching television, make sure it's a show with freak freaks. And not just with people that are freaks because they're stupid trailer trash from the South. <laughs> uh, sorry, America. A little glitch there. <clears throat> anyway. They're right. We should have never crossed that picket line. Come on, honey. Damn. Wait, wait, Pup. come back. People uh, straight leaving. Make the other out of control kids take their clothes off too. Whatever, I'll crap in Mari's pants. What? Sir, the ratings have just started to plummet. Ah, those damn freaks! <laughs> oh, you pissed. I gave you shoes and groceries. I <laughs> <laughs> ah, wasn't bullshitting with them. He said, he said, he said, those damn freaks. He was all sad. I gave you shoes and groceries. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Let me, my bad job. My bad. Let me go back. Let me see. Let me see, bro. Let me see. Sir, the ratings have just started to plummet. Ah, those damn freaks. <laughs> I gave you shoes and groceries, and this is how you repay me? <laughs> Very well. Come upstairs and we'll negotiate. <laughs> we did it! The strike worked! Now we can go on with our careers! Oh, thank God that's over. Now I can get back home. Butters, you have screwed me out of the prize for the last <laughs> time! Oh, fuck. Oh, double hamburgers. Jesus Christ! That out of control kid ripped poor Napoleon's balls right off! Get him! <laughs> oh, shit! That's what you get! Boil him! <laughs> Butters? Oh shit. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh fuck, Butters. Butters can't fucking win. Even when he tries to be a good friend, he never fucking wins. Let that be a lesson to y'all, bro. Do not let peer pressure you peer pressure, peer pressure you into doing shit that you know you don't need to do. Because at the end of the fucking day, at the end of the day, my boys, at the end of the day. You are going to be pissed off by the results you get from letting people peer pressure you into doing things that you don't want to do, all right? Always do what you want to do in life and do things for people. I'm not saying don't, but do things that you want to do in life, all right? All right.